So, you want to train your puppy. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing my tips and tricks um, about basic training and showing you how I trained Nova how to sit, lie down, and her name. Be sure to watch until the very end as well because I'm going to be talking about the live stream and when that will be happening if you're interested in that. But without further ado, let's get started. One of the most common questions I get asked in the comment section is when did I start training Nova? And the real answer is the day that I brought her home. So she was about seven and a half weeks old and from that day is when I started training her. And obviously that looks a little bit different than how I train her now. I'm not do I wasn't doing as long sessions. Um, we weren't doing as many tricks before a treat, things like that. But honestly, I think the earlier the better. They are so impressionable at this young age and why not get started early? Why wait? But with that being said, I did run into a couple of challenges with training such a young puppy and that's what I want to share with you guys, my experience and ways that I combated them. So the first thing that I noticed that kind of deterred me a little bit was that Nova wasn't super um, food motivated at the beginning and I think that's totally normal um, she was in a new environment a new house she wasn't used to me yet everything was new and she's only seven and a half weeks old the life that she knew up until that point is different so yes there was a lot going on she wasn't super motivated by food so um, trying to reward her with treats was a little bit more difficult. Trying to lure her into tricks was a little more difficult just because she didn't find them that interesting. But I did find that with consistency and keeping the training sessions shorter, I was be able to be a little bit more successful and over time she did become more and more food motivated and now she'll eat anything. So yes, if you are experiencing something similar where you find your puppy doesn't really care for the treat in your hand, they're more interested in smelling something else or chewing something else, that could be normal. That's what I experienced as well. But don't worry, with a little bit of time, they're going to learn. Just keep trying your best. A little bit about what I just said um, with treats. I highly recommend that you find a good treat that is a little bit high value for your puppy. So the treats that I find Nova will do anything for are the freeze-dried beef liver treats. Um, there's so many brands out there that have this kind of treat, but I use Crumbs Naturals. It's a Canadian brand. I like, I just like shopping local, I guess. I find that any treat that's a little bit more moist and not like, what's it called? The dry biscuity types, like a milk bone or something like that. I find Nova doesn't go as crazy for, but she really loves like her chicken recipes, her duck, her lamb, her beef liver anything that's like a single protein i think is the best that nova really reacts well to um but a, a lot of puppies also like anything that's super fresh like cheese or peanut butter or real like boiled chicken they love that as well um you'll learn with your dog what they like and um teaching them things that you really want to prioritize make sure you use a high value treat to show them oh i really like this um before nova even came home i did make these little jars for her it's just a mason jar and it has um three different types of treats it's got her duck recipe her chicken recipe and her beef liver um i find all of these sit well at the same temperature they're the same moisture levels so i just decided to put them all in the same jar um, and that just works well for me. I like to switch up her treats while we train just to keep her more interested But you can do whatever you want. This is just what has been working for me um, And then on top of it, I just have a clicker um, This I actually didn't start off with so I started training Nova with using a marker word basically a marker word is the word you say every single time your puppy does what you want them to do and my marker word was yes so say i'm luring her into a sit and she sits then i say yes good girl um or you could use a clicker so instead of saying yes you would click um 
And at the beginning, I did find that I was just as successful with using just a marker word, but I wanted to try this out and it did work pretty well. Um, I don't use it as much anymore, but I find that when I wanted to teach her things that need to be a little bit more specific and a little more detail oriented, um, I found myself using this a lot more. So when I taught her things like high five, um, it was a little bit harder to like just use a marker word because she would just raise her hand and put it down right away. And I just found that my finger was faster than my mouth. Every time, like for example, when I was teaching her um, high five, she would just raise her paw a little bit and that's when I would click and we would slowly move higher and higher until she did one of these. I hope that's making sense, but I find that clickers are really helpful for things like that where it's a little bit more progression and they might not do the full movement right away. Um, but I've also heard great things about using them in all types of training. It can really make your training faster because it's a very distinct sound um, and like your mark word might not sound the same exactly every single time. But yes, I use both and I've had success with both. I also recommend keeping your training sessions shorter at the beginning. So at the beginning, I found her attention span was only maybe five minutes. So my training sessions were only five minutes. And um, five minutes multiple times a day, I found did the trick. Um, but now we're up to like sometimes even 15 minutes, 20, depending on how well she's taking to her training and her treats. Um, so yeah, don't be discouraged if you find your puppy losing interest and um, they can't train for as long. That's totally normal. They're little puppies. The world is super exciting. Um, but yes, it'll get a lot easier and they'll pay more attention as they become more food motivated and they're not so stimulated by their new environment. And the last tip and probably one of the more important tips that some people don't know or don't understand is you have to exercise your puppy before you start training them. Think about it this way. You have a puppy who is so stimulated by everything around them. They love to play, they love to chew, they love playing tug of war and you don't play with them. Instead, you expect them to listen to you and do what you want them to do. That's a little bit more difficult. Exercising your puppy before you start training them ensures that all of that excess energy that can get them more distracted and not paying attention to you is released and they've had their fun, now it's time to work. So yes, definitely, definitely exercise with your puppy. And by exercising, I mean take them for a walk, play some fetch with them. I do have a video coming soon about how to play fetch with your dog. Um, play tug of war with them. You could even do some nose work. You could play some games around the house, things like that. But just make sure that your puppy is not fresh from a nap with all this energy and they're like running around and you're trying to get them to listen to you because chances are that's not going to be as effective. So those were just a couple of training tips that I have for you, just some basics that apply to any type of training that I found was helpful in my training with Nova. So now let's learn some tricks. So we are gonna teach, well, I'm gonna teach you how to teach your puppy how to sit. No. So normally they'll be standing like this. You're going to raise it above their nose Obviously Nova is really good at it already, so it's really quick, but basically the idea is to raise it above their nose. Hey, no, Nova, good girl. To raise it above their nose to the point where they just kind of naturally sit back. And that's when you either click using a clicker like one of these, I'll have these linked down below, they're just from Amazon, or you can use your marker word, which I used to say yes, or I do still say yes, so it's, let's see it again. Nova, yes, good girl, good job. So you would mark it and then you would give the reward. Make sure that you keep your marker word consistent and don't just like throw it around. So like while you're praising, don't say like, yes, 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 you know, like use it as your marker word. 
You want to practice this a couple times before you even put a command word to it. So I was doing this many times before I even said the word sit, just because like if you start off right off the bat, you may be watering down the command just because they don't know what that means and like you just keep saying it over and over again and they haven't made the connection that sit is to sit. So let's try again. Nova, sit. Good girl. So they probably start off standing. You're gonna pull up, 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 sit. Yes, good girl. Good job, good girl. And make sure you reward your dog. So with treats, right now I'm using little chicken pieces from Crumbs Naturals. I really like Crumbs Naturals, but you can use any reward that you want. Ready, sit. Yes, good girl, good job. Good girl! And especially at the beginning, you really want to make sure you are really rewarding them in many ways, like celebrate with them. That'll just make it seem more like a positive thing and they'll learn that, oh, this is good what I'm doing. Sit. Yes, good girl. Good job! Now we're gonna show how to teach your dog lie down. So I'm gonna go from a sit and basically what you do is you just bring it down, 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 and they'll follow and just naturally slide down. Yes, good girl, good job. And like I said when, like I said during the sit demonstration, I did this many times before I even put the word lie down or down to it. Sit, good girl. And then again, you just bring it down, 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 and they'll slide. Yes, good girl, good job. And every time I say yes, if you are using a clicker, that's when you would click. Nova, sit. Good girl. So again, you just bring it really close and just bring it down. Yes, good girl. Good job. And then putting a command to it would look something like this. Nova, sit. Sit. Good girl. Down. Yes, good girl. Good down. Good job. And your puppy may not know how to sit from a down. That did take some time for me to teach Nova. Those are called puppy push-ups. They look like this. Hey, sit. Good girl. And down. And sit. Good girl. And down. Yes, good girl. Good job. But that's a little bit more advanced. If you're lucky, your puppy might be able to do it. But for Nova, in my experience anyway, it did take a couple of tries and some time for her to be able to go from a down to a sit. Normally she would go from a down to like just standing and walking away. So, but puppy push-ups are really great um, to exercise your dog's mind. They, it, they also get physically tired from this and mentally tired, so it's a great trick. Good girl, Nova. Good girl. Good job! So now I'm going to be teaching you how to teach your puppy their name. This is really important for things like recall and getting their attention. So how I did it was basically anytime I said Nova and she looked at me, I gave her a treat just to show her that every single time she gives me attention and looks at me when I say her name, she gets a treat. And there's a lot of value in giving her attention to me. So normally I would get her in a sit. Nova! Yes, good girl. Every single time she makes eye contact with me or looks at me, I would give her a treat. And this may be a little bit difficult. It was difficult for me as well at the beginning. I would basically give her a treat anytime she did any kind of response. So starting slow, maybe she turned towards me. That would be a treat. And slowly and slowly, I would build it up to eye contact. Nova! Yes, good girl. Good job. Good girl. And I promise you, if you do this like 10 times every minute, not every minute, do it 10 times per session, multiple times a day. Your, your dog is going to learn their name really fast. Nova, sit. Nova! Yes, good girl. Good job. Good girl. And um, another tip for teaching your dog their name is don't water it down. So at the beginning, when she was still a puppy, before I started training her her name, 
I didn't even call her Nova, I called her Puppy or Pup. So to get her attention, I would say Puppy, Puppy, Pup, 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 things like that. Because I didn't want to water down her name and have her not understand that it has value and it means something. Hey, no, can you sit? Sit. Good girl. Nova! Yes, good girl. Good job. So again, she didn't look me right in the eye then, but she did respond to her name and that's awesome. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. I do have more training videos coming. I wanted to start off very basic and slow, but don't worry, I see all your requests for learning bang and rollover and things like that. That will be coming up in the future. Also let me know down below in the comments what tricks you want to see me try to teach Nova. I would love to do kind of like a real time um, training session and showing you the progression of her learning the trick. I think that would be really interesting. So yes, please let me know in the comments any video suggestions, doggy related or not. Um, and now I wanted to talk to you guys about the live stream. I got so many people saying that they would love to watch a live stream, so that is so awesome. Thank you guys so much for the support you always show me. So with the overwhelming responses on my Instagram stories, um, it has been decided that the live stream will take place on August 29th, 2020, which is this Saturday, over on Nova's Instagram, which is nova.theshorky. Right now, I'm planning for it to be at 5 o'clock Mountain Standard Time, 6 p.m. Central Time, and I think 7 p.m. Eastern Time, and 4 p.m. Pacific time. I hope I'm doing this right. I'll have all the information somewhere on the screen when I figure it out. My brain can't handle all this right now. But yes, I really hope you guys can join and that time works well for you. Um, it's gonna be a lot of fun. I would love to answer any questions and get to know you guys, talk to you guys. Um, maybe even do like a live demonstration or something if that would be interesting to you but really I just want to hang out with you guys and just chat um, I'll probably be on there for an hour or two depending on the turnout and if anybody really wants to hear me talk for two hours so yes I really hope you can make it it's gonna be super fun so be sure to be on the lookout on this Saturday on Nova's Instagram but yes thank you guys so so much for all the love and support you guys mean so much to me I hope you found this video helpful be sure to watch out next week for a new video and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already I post every single Wednesday leave comments down below telling me what you want to see in the future doggy related or not and if this video was helpful for you please give it a thumbs up it really helps me out and lets me know and i would love to do more videos related but yes thank you guys so so much for watching if you made it this far i'll see you guys next time bye